Welcome to the first video in the series on using DHS data in R. The purpose of this video is to prepare you to use DHS data using R software. This supports the DHS program mission to increase the use and accessibility of data by using open source software such as R. Anyone can download this software at no cost to use for their analysis. Before beginning, you must have R and R Studio downloaded to your computer. Links are provided in the video description. Note that you do not need to work in R Studio and can use the code demonstrated in the video in R. However, R Studio is preferable as it provides a more user-friendly interface. You can download the free version to use for your analysis. To download R and R Studio, please go to the links shown on the screen. In this video, we will open DHS data in R. The data we will use is from the model datasets which are example datasets created for users to practice analysis using DHS data. The datasets do not represent any actual country's data. We will be working with the women's file, also called the IR file. Please download the zzir62fl.zip folder from the model datasets page on dhsprogram.com. You should unzip this folder and save the zzir62fl.dta data file in your working directory folder. After opening RStudio, you can begin writing code that you will run in the script window on the top left. You can write the code we show in the video in a new R script file. The first step is to install and load the R packages needed for this session. On the screen, you will see the packages needed. Packages are collections of functions, code, and data that have specific uses when manipulating and analyzing data. To install packages for the first time, use the command install.packages as shown. It will take a little time for the packages to install. After a package is installed, you can use the library command to load the package and start using it. Packages will remain loaded unless a new session in R is started, so these commands only need to be run once every session. The here package will save the working directory path. Please save the IR file in the same folder as your working directory. You can check the path with the command here as shown. The path will show in the console window. We will be using DHS data saved in the .dta format. If you have your data saved in this path, we are ready to move to the second step and open the DHS dataset we are working with. This is done using the read underscore DTA command and the here subcommand as shown. We can assign a name to the dataset using the assignment operator, which looks like an arrow pointing to the name we have chosen, IR data. We save the data with the name IR data, but you can choose any name you like. After loading the data, you will see it appear in the data window, which shows the number of observations and the number of variables. We have reached the end of this preparation video. In the next video, we will learn how to create new variables in R. To learn more, you can also check out the DHS program code library on GitHub at github.com forward slash DHS program.